The final reaction of enolates that we'll learn is the reaction of an enolate nucleophile with an ester electrophile to produce a beta dicarbonyl compound. It's known as the acetoacetic ester synthesis, but more commonly the Claisen condensation after its discoverer Reiner Ludwig Claisen in 1887. Despite my aversion to calling reactions by the names of their dead white male inventors, this particular name is so ubiquitous and part of the chemistry lexicon that I'll use it in spite of my displeasure at doing so. We'll start by showing the self-condensation of ethyl acetate. When treated with sodium ethoxide, an enolate is formed. KEQ for this reaction is not favorable, only about 10 to the minus 9. So only a tiny, tiny portion of the ester is converted to its enolate. Even so, that nucleophilic enolate is reactive enough to attack the pi star CO of another molecule of the ester, one that hasn't been enolized. This creates a tetrahedral intermediate, which likes to collapse by a lone pair push, and since the electrophile was an ester, there's a viable leaving group built in. This produces a beta dicarbonyl compound. The problem is, none of the steps up to this point is very favorable. All have KEQ near or less than one. But the last step of the Claisen condensation does have a favorable KEQ. The proton in between the two carbonyl groups is pretty acidic. It has a pKa of about 12 in this case. The ethoxide base that we have around is plenty strong enough to deprotonate this, with a KEQ of about 10 to the 4. This final step drives the whole reaction forward. Without it, the Claisen condensation just doesn't happen. The fact that the Claisen condensation is dependent on this final deprotonation step means that we must follow the reaction with an acid workup if we want to isolate a neutral compound. We've just illustrated a self-condensation of an ester and its enolate, but just like with the aldol condensation, there are two possible types of variants. First, intramolecular Claisen reactions involve one enolizable carbonyl group within a molecule reacting with an ester elsewhere in the molecule. For example, when treated with base, this diester reacts with itself to cyclize, producing a new six-membered ring. After acid workup, this is the product. Second, crossed Claisen reactions can be performed in certain circumstances. Like in the aldol reaction, we need to guarantee the reaction roles, electrophile and nucleophile. The most common way to do this is by using one enolizable carbonyl compound, which serves as the nucleophile, and an especially electrophilic ester as the electrophile. Usually an oxalate ester, a formate ester, or a carbonate. These esters are not enolizable themselves. The Claisen condensation is the reaction between an enolate nucleophile and an ester electrophile, producing a beta dicarbonyl compound. It's driven by a favorable deprotonation of a quite acidic proton between the two carbonyl groups of the product, and does not occur unless this deprotonation is possible. Self, intramolecular, and crossed Claisen reactions are all possible.